Mechatronics 2320 Chattanooga State. Uh, what I'm about to show you is uh, uh, that uh, we can all make a mistake with a, a multimeter. Uh, my intention was to be measuring current through a winding. Uh, you can see right here I'm plugging it in, the, this is a meter lead by the way, into the 120, 120 volts fixed, okay, with great intentions of making other measurements. All right. Remember that uh, when the meter is in the, the ampere settings that it offers almost no resistance to a hot circuit. So right now I th somehow I was thinking differently. I've uh, I've got it plugged in. Okay, uh, I'm expecting to see a current reading. <sighs> okay. Uh, we had a glitch. The meter caught the glitch, but it's still reading zero. What I heard is I heard the circuit breaker, circuit breaker trip. And so I started looking around and scratching my head. The blue leads are going from 120 volts to the meter, which is in the ampere setting. So it presents a short circuit to the power supply, 120 volts. There's a circuit breaker. It is extended because it's tripped. So now I'm correcting my hookup as I should have done, as I should have checked beforehand. I did not. Don't know why I was careless, but I was careless, and that's what caused this problem. Fortunately, the fuse in the meter did not blow. So now I have it connected correctly to read the current flowing through the field winding. I turned the power back on because I, I did turn it off. I reset the breaker. This shows that I have 120 volts on the circuit again. So now, now I have the correct connection uh, showing that uh, with 120 volts applied to the shunt field winding, I draw 0 0.460 amperes. Uh, remember, a current meter generally acts as a, a, a dead short circuit to, to voltage.
Okay, I, I also want to read the voltage that the windings, the field winding, is actually experiencing. So I bring another meter alongside here. I have it on the DC voltage setting. I have a pair of red leads connected to the meter. Notice that they are connected common to voltage. So that is correct. The meter on the left is still connected to show current. So I connect my voltage meter in parallel with the field winding. And that is always the procedure. Uh, current meters, ammeters are connected in line with what device you are examining. Voltage meters are connected in parallel with whatever element you are examining. Current meter in series, voltmeter in parallel. Power on. I show that a direct reading across the winding shows 132.6 volts applied and we have 0.442 amperes flowing in the field circuit.